Welcome to Grand Central. No, this isn't the same video. We have completely redone uh, all the electronics downstairs uh, that power this station. And it's made it more reliable uh, and, and much, much, much better. So, as you can see, the switches are working now. Thanks, Notch, for updating that, that simple bug. So we'll go on the test rail. Still use the same chimes. Uh, you can see that all the tracks uh, are color coded with the colored wool. Uh, it makes it easier when doing the redstone underneath uh, to see what's what. Ding ding. And it does one more ding when you get out. Okay, we've got still got the warning. Uh, dispenser is overfilled, uh, but it works slightly different. Now I don't want to do another 21 minute video, that was way too long. So I'm just going to show you uh, what's what, and there's going to be annotation links, and they will link to a video uh, where I describe how to build it. So here we have the vertical door boosters. This is the main thing powering our station. The booster sits on the top, cart comes up uh, when it's done boosting this one sitting here. It works very well uh, in multiplayer because there's nothing moving right now. With the constant motion boosters, uh, stuff breaks all the time. So click the link to learn how to make those. Now what we have here, uh, this booster is used to transport the, uh, it's the arrivals booster, and it transport the cart all the way up into the Pez dispenser. You can see it through the glass here, it's pretty full. Here's the bottom. Now what happens is the a booster cart up there and they just sit there. They just sit in the Pez dispenser and they sit here. Uh, when you get into the departures gate, which is just on the other side, when you sit in that booster there, you can see a button underneath see the button underneath and presses the button and that will activate this door booster here so the cart will come down cart will come around again click the link for door boosters and that will sand out uh, the cart now while we're here we have the orange blocks this is the switching station orange blocks uh, mean that the track needs to be switched. We use a binary system which you can see back here. We use a binary system up for one, down for zero uh, and all the coordinates are on here. This certainly beats the whole wall of press buttons to go here uh, maybe a little simpler doing it that way but this way as you can see is a lot more compact and we certainly do strive for small okay let's have a look at the redstone that's what most people want to see redstone circuits below take care it's very easy to break stuff down here okay uh, now everything down here is labeled um, all the the sections uh, it's completely redone uh, from what it was before makes much more sense uh, it's easier to to look at and easier to modify so this section here is the chime circuit so what happens here again it's easy because you can see the buttons see the button there uh, that one comes down this is for the arrivals and it will set off two chimes this one ding ding that's the one you hear. Uh, the redstone comes around here, goes through the first delay block. Uh, it will activate this one first because it's not on the delay, and then this one is second. It's I usually use the longest delay here. Uh, and this other side is the uh, departure side. So when you get in the thing to depart, uh, we'll activate that switch there. Follow the redstone here and again with the delayers on there. Click the link to see how to build one of these. Further underneath there is a lot more. 
So as you can see, it's all modular. Uh, every section is fenced off by some half stone of different type to separate the two different sections. The wood over there. They've all got signs to make it easy to see what's what. Uh, so we may as well start here. This is the departures track switching circuit. Uh, when the binary code comes down, it's all attached up here. Let's see if I can get up there still. Nope, looks like it's blocked off. If you can see it there, uh, those behind that wall is the switches. The switches that tell you which address to go. Activate the switch, it will come down here and it will change the the setting of these torches now as I said before the red means it's transmitting up so these red switches gonna activate <coughs> whoops gonna activate the orange block which as I said before is for the the turning tracks just a repeater there it's pretty easy stuff this is probably the simplest part over here uh, the send away circuit all of these uh, transmit up to one of the door the door boosters as you can see with the white wool block there transmits up from the red so what happens is so this one is the send away circuit you the cart falls on that block that block powers this block uh, sends a pulse down here now this will activate this one uh, and this because of the two delays there takes some time to get from there to there this will activate the door and will open for only as long as it takes for the the redstone signal to get from here to here and that's why it's a pulse because it will just send one pulse and then it will turn back off again what that does is prevent somebody sitting on the cart and if for some reason the booster misses the door won't just stay open it'll close again uh, and allow it to reset click the link to see how to build a pulse circuit okay now over here where should we go next this place is so big um, this one calls a new cart Again, it's just a pulse, just a slightly different layout. There's the door. Just sets the booster up there. The door booster. And it comes down. From that block right there. So when you leave, it calls a new cart uh, into that empty spot just another pulse uh, what do we have that's different cart restocking just another pulse just to activate all these boosters uh, this one restocks the cart uh, in the Pez dispenser um, and after the last video I heard a lot of advice uh, they kept telling me that uh, it would be a good idea if when the dispenser was overflown <laughs> overflown overloaded uh, that all the carts would come to a central location so what we have here is a five clock or well it's probably more than five now with all these delays but uh, well and let's just click the link and this will teach you how to set up this circuit okay clicked it good now this will make a lot more sense so the five clock goes down here. This is a simple and. Uh, it's not a, a true and gate, uh, but it does work like one. Down here is the button. When a cart falls on it, lights up everything. Ding. Ding. Now I made the alarm a lot less noticeable and a lot less noisy. Once a card is removed, uh, it stops. Because before it was just annoying. 
it was just annoying uh, and the cart system still works but uh, it's just it's nicer without so I'm going up here and this is all the way up to the spawn point because this whole station is below it now up here is the cart restocking station this is from outside because a lot of people are unable to break all of these blocks here so I'm just going to show you from the outside minecart return when the light is on you place a cart looks like I don't have any, hang on let me go get one guess I should have just gone down the ladder Okay, so you place the cart in here, and I don't actually want to because I'm going to lose it. And it activates this booster, and that pushes the cart all the way up here. And this is the dispenser right here. Can't see it because it's not stacked very high. I'm not going to fill it up, it takes too long. So what happens is, if it is full, the cart is going to bounce off. And it's going to roll back down here all the way down all the way down and down into the bottom and you can hear it started the alarm is now on ding ding now to the normal user it doesn't matter it's not going to change anything uh, everything still works the same way as it did but it's just letting the server know that the dispenser is overfilled and that someone needs to tend to it as I said before it still works perfectly as normal okay what else do we have down here oh, I guess I should go get the cart Tempted is much easier than before. Break it down. Yay. Now, like I said before, oh, and it stopped. Excellent. Nothing worse than making a video about your amazing technology and have it not work. Now, over here is the arrivals it's blocked off so that people can't jump down there if they get stuck so what happens here is as I said before this is when you get back to the station you get out there and the cart is taken up this rail all the way up to the top of the Pez dispenser Again, if it's full, it's going to bounce off, and it's going to go all the way back down. That well, was very smart, was it? All the way back down, and then again, it'll set off the alarm. Doesn't really do anything. It's just to let everybody know that the dispenser is full, so stop putting stuff in. Oh, and there's one more feature. It's over here. The amazing waiting area circuit. Now, what happened before... Uh, if you got stuck in the waiting area see that it goes to a white wool that means there's a booster up here what happened before is if you go into the waiting area you would have to press a button and it would suck because sometimes you know it just wouldn't work very well but the way it is now oh now I've got to get out here and show you it's all automated. Thanks to those suggesting it too, because it's a great addition. 
it'll activate this if you're sitting at the arrivals if someone else is sitting at the arrivals just say two people leave stations at the same time and they come back one sitting at arrivals that'll change this to point you in there that is the waiting area please do not leave your cart cart comes in sits on that block and it just sits there just sits there until that arrivals person gets out uh, now I'm gonna need another person on the server so let me just wait till somebody gets on okay someone else is online uh, so now we're going to test out the waiting area and, and its gloriousness This is Dennis. <laughs> oh wow, he's bowing properly this time. Yeah, this is take number two at least. <laughs> okay, so he's going to get in the cart. And... Ding, ding, ding. It's going to send him off. And then I'm going to get in a cart. And again, it's just a test track, so it's going to take us back to the same spot. Now we're both going to be sitting on the arrivals thing. Or are we? Hopefully this works. So he's sitting at arrivals, and it's going to take me over here to the waiting area. Please do not leave your cart. Now, there's no buttons or anything here. Oh no, how am I going to get out? As soon as he leaves the cart, you hear it ding. Oh, here comes the booster and it sends me off. Awesome. Uh, now we'll do it the other way so you can see from the other side because it looks pretty cool. We've done this I don't know how many times. It's so fun having it automated and not having to press anything is freaking awesome so now I'm sitting in the cart uh, at arrivals you'll be able to see his name coming closer 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 and then he's in the holding area now I could sit in here for a long time but I won't so I get out the booster takes out the empty cart and here comes his Perfect. And that's the minecart system. Oh, and there's one more part that we have down here. Oh, got to get to it. After a long day of redstone, uh, we decided to make a little garden. It's the admiration garden. You sit in it and admire your hard work. Ah. The sounds of nature and redstone together. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the videos, be sure to subscribe, like, favorite, all of those things. And uh, have fun in Minecraft.